right. Hi, everybody. I'm Matt with the LA Writers Center. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Susan Dalian. Am I saying that correct? You are. Awesome. Uh, she is the director of the upcoming play in the writers, uh, the Breathe Writing uh, Reading series uh, titled Villains. So thank you so much for agreeing to this interview. Well, thank and you for having me. <laughs> of course. So I kind of want to just jump right into it and ask uh, a very nebulous question but also i think you you know the audience could probably surmise as much as they can from it uh from your answer so why did you why did you choose to direct this or what about this play drew you to it as a director yeah that's a good question so uh first it was um <clears throat> being reunited with an old theater colleague um who i met years ago mark mark um, and uh, I hadn't seen him in a while, and I was hoping that he was still writing. I had moved away from LA for, for almost seven years, and I've been back for about two, almost three. And uh, when Sheree reached out to me, Sheree and I had met during uh, the 2019 Directors Lab West. She reached out to me and uh, said, hey, um, Mark Ewing is uh, a playwright uh, with uh, LA Writers Center. And I said, Mark Ewing, I know Mark Ewing. This is fantastic. And she asked me if I was available. And I said, well, you know, I'd love to read the play. And I, I read it and I was like, oh yeah, this is Mark Ewing. Um, and yeah. uh, it had all the, all the, the Mark Ewing uh, uh, notes to it. So I said, oh yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to take a crack at this. So when you say, when you say it's a, um, a Mark Ewing, uh, can you explain what you mean by that? Because I think I, I understand because I've read the play and I've interviewed him and it makes sense. But I guess if you understand Mark, you kind of really understand his words and his play. So what kind of encompassing all that, um, what do you what did you take away reading this? And what do you, what do you think Mark's trying to say and that you kind of want to help bring out? Yeah, so, well, first of all, he, he has a very specific, he's a stylized, wow, well, we have all the noise. There's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. All the noise. Um, so um, he has a very stylized writing, right? And um, or at least the, the pieces, wow. <laughs> it always happens right when you begin a zoom. It always does. The dog like has fleas or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Are you okay? Or are you just sabotaging my interview? Um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna take this off of her. Oh my goodness. Bet you never had an interview like this before. Right, no, it's hey. <laughs> First time for everything. Like I said, so, like, yeah. no worries, yeah. <laughs> so Mark is, um, uh, I had read a piece of his a long time ago and he's he, he's very, there's a stylized sort of tone that he takes on that I, I kind of like a lot. Um, the play that I had read years ago was a play that he'd written in verse, the whole entire play in iambic pentameter. So um, that was that was very exciting. Um, and so this play, um, uh, it, it had that sort of stylized feel that I that I think Mark likes to write in. Sure. For his plays anyway, and um, I was drawn to that because it, it it plays also with time the balance of time, the present and the past, um, which I loved going back and forth in time. And um, there was excitement in the, uh, in the drama of the play and the action of the play that I, I was particularly drawn to. And, you know, the subject matter of, you know, um, the, the, well, I should say the overall theme of this is a play about theater in a way and about, elements of performance and writing and the industry right. and, and all of it, you know, and uh, Mark leaves these wonderful little Easter eggs along the way that, yeah, yeah. that are little nods to all of that, to Shakespeare, to, to Stanislavski, to Uta Hagen, to, you know, all, it, it, he, he has really woven in these wonderful little, little themes into the play, these little Easter eggs, I should say, into the play, theme of the play. And um, I, I was like, wow, that's really theatrical. And that'd be fun to, it'd be fun to stage, <laughs> but we're going to do it on Zoom and it's going to be just as fun <laughs> for oh, reading. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll <laughs> yeah. definitely, I mean, Zoom plays are here to stay for the moment. And, you know, we do it what yeah. we can. Um, yeah. 
Another question I had was, so as, as a director, right, when you are, um, when you're dealing with an audience, right, and you're also dealing with a, a subject matter that's obviously pertinent and relevant to what is going on, what are some of the things that go through your mind um, when you're reading the play and as, obviously as rehearsals start, what are the kind of things that go through your mind when um, you really think about the play in the context of what is going on in the real world? Mm -hmm. So in this play, I mean, in ways really all plays that I feel, whether they're classical or they're modern or they were just written last week or 15 years ago, whatever, right. there's always an element of now in the play, you know, which I find that that's the thing that sort of draws me to doing theater is that you can, theater, always, yeah. yeah, you can always, you know, especially a, a, a good, good piece, a well-written piece, you know, can reflect on the time that it was written as well as the time that it's been done throughout the years and, you know, to this day. I mean, Shakespeare is a perfect example of that, you know, with all the different interpretations that people will do and, and concepts of, the, of those plays um, instead of just traditional doublet and hose, right? I mean, you, you, you see all kinds of things that you hear the language that comes through. And so um, uh, this play in particular, you know, I think Mark wrote it uh, several years ago. Um, and he's bringing it out now, and I think a we're gonna the it, we're gonna find some new uh, things for him. I believe uh, we have an amazing group of actors, um, and I think it's gonna help help him find a place for it now um, because I don't think it was produced. I think that he it was something that he was working on years ago, right. um, and who knows maybe now it will be produced you know for and once we can go back into the into the temple uh and right. be on the stage but i think with this reading series with with this reading rather he'll uh, in the process that we'll do in rehearsal he's i think some things are going to come to light based on some of the tensions that are existing since i mean for a long time but have sort of come to a head once we went into quarantine with uh, a lot of the Black, Black Lives Matters movements and the racial unrest that uh, is upon us right now. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it, it's going to be very fruitful for him as a writer, but also, I mean, also very informative too as a, as a director and everybody involved to yes. kind of work through that with him. Yeah. Um, is there something that you're looking forward to? Uh, the most just to kind of wrap it up something that you're looking forward to the most with it with this play in particular um I'm looking forward to how uh how we're gonna weave it together you know like if yeah it's it, it is a play that ha you know it, it starts here and then whew, it goes there and then it comes here and on stage you can do that with lights and stuff but in a reading you have limited and you know resources and in a, st a zoom reading you have even more limited right. but I like I actually am looking forward to just breaking it down to the simplicity of the language and the story and seeing what we've got and seeing if you know where Mark's going to take it next. Mm -hmm.